As you're setting up your course, one of the things to do is go to the comments on the left side down below your dashboard. Load up the comments. It'll come up in search mode. Type in music. Come over to the filter. Set it to courses. Uh, you could drop it, in fact, to probably undergraduate courses. That brings it down to a reasonable number to look at. And now you can take a look at other what other people are doing uh, in terms of structure. Some of these courses won't have any structure, like this Music H80 uh, just consists of a series of assignments, no modules, so it's not an actual course structure. But anybody can load up anything and label it as whatever they want. But this one, Basic Music Elements, is, uh, does appear to be a full course. Um, now this will take a little longer, especially on my ADSL line, to load. But it lets me see the structure. There are 16 modules. They're organized around weeks. Uh, there are 50 quizzes, 59 pages, 20 assignments, and 29 files. All available for um, the public domain. They're sharing publicly. And you can import and reuse. Uh, I would probably not import this because to, you'd have to manually delete all of the stuff you didn't want. But you can certainly get an idea of the course structure. And you can go look at what the different lessons are, the different assignments were that they've got. They'll start appearing down here, uh, some of the things, and get you an idea of the structure of the course. And that's true for any of these. You can go take a look at the course, see what the structure is, a music appreciation course, see what they put together in, uh, in the world of physical physics. Uh, a physics appreciation course features no mathematics. But you can see what the details were. The preview of the course should upload here. And the nature of what their licensing is will be up in the upper right. So that's just an idea that as you're setting up a course for the first time, go see what other people have put together and what, what they've, their structure. You just click on the title of the course and you can have a look at how other people are structuring their courses. And that may give you some idea of how you want to structure your particular course. You can also see star ratings, how many people have liked it. <laughs> And how many times a course has been downloaded? Basic Music Theory, 526 downloads. So that gives you an idea. Whereas Alex's music course is not doing so well, the two stars and no downloads. <laughs> He's probably just put his course up there for his own reference. And you can do that. My courses are up here too. Uh, so have a look at those and that might give you an idea how, to, how you might want to structure things.